All right, time to go teach. Welcome to this next episode of Tutor Tutors, where we are continuing through the unit on biochemistry, where we are now going to be looking at some organic molecules that we refer to as bio macro molecules. Let's begin. Target of the day, first off, identify the four categories of bio macro molecules. Clearly, that means that there are four of them, and you should be able to identify them at the end of all of this. Next, you should be able to diagram the reaction type that builds these types of molecules. They have a very specific reaction that takes place every time that we're going to build them. And lastly, diagram the reaction that will break them apart. Okay? So we are going to show both how you build biomacromolecules and we're going to show how you destroy or break down biomacromolecules. Just so you are aware, this is the list of the biomacromolecules, lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids. You've probably heard about some of these at some point in time, and we are going to cover them in this order. Lipids first, carbohydrates second, proteins third, nucleic acids last. And before we get to the specific types of biomacromolecules, we're going to look at how you build or how you break down these molecules. First off, we got some vocab. A monomer is a single unit. So when I think of a monomer, uh, I think of like a single Lego. It's a single unit of a much larger thing, but it can sit by itself and just be that single unit. So a Lego brick, hey, it still, it functions as a Lego brick. It is a Lego brick. It's not any different from being a Lego brick and anything else. When we put two Lego bricks together, then we end up with what we would call a dimer. It is two bonded units together. So when we take two of our different types of molecules and we put them together, we end up with a dimer. And lastly, we get to a polymer. Well, that's multiple units bonded together. Poly meaning, meaning many. So this is many units that are then bonded to the, together and they can form a very complex structure at the end. So whatever that structure would be, that is what they're going to form. If you ever saw a brick wall, each individual brick would be a monomer. Each individual brick would be a single unit. That's what monomer means, by the way. Mono, single, or one, mer, unit. So each brick of a brick wall would be a monomer. The entire wall would be a polymer because it is all those units bonded together forming a structure. All right, so reaction types, we have two. The first one is called dehydration synthesis. And dehydration synthesis is where we are going to take our different molecules and we are going to put them together. So its bonds are going to be formed between units. So between our different molecules, a bond is going to form between them and this is going to be a covalent bond. This is going to be a real chemical bond. It's going to be through the removal of water. So we're going to remove water. And when we say we remove water, we're not talking about like heating it up and evaporating the water away. What we're actually talking about is removal of specific atoms that make up water. So we're going to remove two hydrogens and one oxygen from these molecules. That's how it's going to work. This is also called a condensation reaction. So again, we're not removing water that exists there. It's not like we are removing the molecule of water. We are going to remove the elements that make up water. Hydrolysis is where we are going to do the exact opposite. We are going to add those elements back into the system and thus break those molecules back apart to what they were prior. So that is what we're talking about when we're talking about hydrolysis. Hydro meaning water and lysis meaning to break, just so we are aware of that. And these, again, this being a catabolic and this one being an anabolic reaction. Anabolic is to build and catabolic is to break down. So that is what we're looking at when we're looking at these things. Okay, so here we go. This 
is the molecules in question for right now. I would not expect you to be able to identify them, but if you could, this is glucose and this is fructose over there. So this one right here is glucose and that one right there is called fructose. And glucose has the molecular formula C6H12O6, which means it has six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and six oxygens. Fructose happens to have the exact same chemical formula. It is also C6H12O6. It's just the arrangement of those atoms is different. So you can see that in glucose, we have a hexagonal ring and fructose, we have a pentagonal ring. And that is obviously going to cause some differences. But for right now, we're going to look at how we could bond these two molecules together. So each of these molecules is our monomer. And we're going to look at them as they form a dimer. So moving them closer together, we are going to remove the elements that make up water. So we're going to remove one oxygen and two hydrogens. And you can see we remove them from the carbon of fructose and from this oxygen of glucose. Now the carbon, remember, back a few different episodes, we know it wants to make four bonds. But right now, this carbon only has three bonds. And we know that oxygen, it makes two bonds. And right now, it's only made one bond. And so, the oxygen needs to make another bond, and the carbon needs to make another bond. And you can probably see where I'm going with this. So let's bring these two molecules close together. And then they bond. And there we go. Okay, so this is dehydration synthesis, where we have removed this water molecule right here. And the components to build this water molecule came from the glucose and the fructose. The water molecule didn't exist until those two monomers joined together and made our dimer. And that's dehydration synthesis. It is the formation of water from those components that come from each monomer. And by the way, this molecule right here, this dimer is called sucrose, which is table sugar. It's what I put in my coffee every day. It is C12, H22, O11, and there we go. So that is sucrose. If we were to go and use hydrolysis, hydrolysis is going to be the exact process, but in reverse. So the water molecule is going to get broken apart into its components. And reattach to the original monomers, where now they are separated back out. We have our monomer of glucose and our monomer of fructose because the components that made up a water molecule were put into the dimer to separate it back into its constituent monomers. So in summary of all that, biomacromolecules, look, they're large molecules made by living things. That's bio, macro, molecule. Bio is life, macro is large, molecule, it's a molecule. Next, biomacromolecules, there's four different types. There are four different types of biomacromolecules, lipids, carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids. And lastly, they are always built or broken by removing or adding H2O every single time. All right, that's it for this time. Be awesome, stay awesome.